Okay. When you put Neptune in the sixth house, it implies how do you find work that you want to do? How do you develop the skills you want to do? It's hard. There's so many temptations of things that you can do, but it also, because it's sort of, um, it's a house of healing, but it's also your health of potential vulnerabilities or health, health problems. It, it, it implies allergies or confusions or something's not as it seems in your health or in the skills you have, you didn't get the skills quite, you had to, you had to take work that's less than what you want. It's making you sick doing it, but you don't, aren't trained to do anything else. But often the Neptune there can be allergies and you try to find what it is and nobody exactly knows. Something's not as it seems around health, around, and you're having to try and find a way to prove, you have to believe in how to improve things. But there's, things that work and there's things that don't. And there's a gullibility there too. So you can have trouble with people that work with you, it's a scenario of co -work, people working for you, being serviced for you, or you're being serviced to people. You might not get paid properly for what you're doing. Some puzzle can be there, uh, but if you're doing a job, you better be honest at your job or you'll have great scandals coming in around it. If you don't do the skills you promised to do, who's gonna hire you? Right. So this is just going, I'm just going around taking the concept of Neptune, putting it in the houses and trying to make sense of them in a way that you can see it so that you can do this yourself. And you may come to just better conclusions than me. I just work with it so I have certain understanding, a certain experientializing of it that I can get just from using it all the time. But it doesn't mean you can solve that for the other person. It just means that puzzle is there. The puzzle is always somewhere in, in your chart. It's you have your houses and the Neptune's gonna be in one of the houses. If you had to have temptation, if you had to have confusion, where would you want it? Well, if I had to be temptation and confusion, maybe I just want it on my image. Well, if I wanna have temptation and confusion, maybe I want it in my lover house. Maybe I want it in my marriage. Maybe I want it in my career. Where do you want it? You know, like, where have you got it? Oh, not there. Okay, so those angular, succeeding, cadent, the houses of being, having and using, and transforming or understanding, you can see where the gullibility comes in. And when you see a person, you'll sense it. it and by the time you work with the other person, you begin to see why there's an exception to the rule, or why there's a hole in the bucket, or something's happening differently. Because the Neptune problem is coming from there doesn't mean you can't make it right or work well with it. It's just going to take a lot of discipline to stop temptation. A lot of restraint, Saturn, to stop temptation. It's just a lot of preparation to stop sudden shocks or to deal with them. This is when things get confused. If one kid becomes an alcoholic and you have two other kids and the other person's kind of stealing things and the third kid you're trying to save the third kid from the other brothers. How do you, they're all kids. They're all influencing each other. And you, you can't hate, hate any of them. you having to work with them. There's a Neptune puzzle. Um, so you set by examples. A little kindness has huge effects. And um, yeah, uh, you, you, you puzzle with Neptune. It's, uh, so in the, in the firehouses, first house, house, ninth house, houses of identity, and that means you have um, over-idealized, an over kind of belief in yourself, a dramatic, dedicated belief in yourself, or a guilt of there's something wrong with me, or there's a confusion to you. And then one of, if it's in your first house, it's your identity. I believe in me, I see this, I can see it. I can do this, I can wear these clothes and I'm part of it. I can dress like a cop, I might be a cop. I can do this, I can do that. But it, it, often it's a pretense. I'm playing the image. I'm identifying to the image. So if you identify to it, you do everything associated with it, and it gets you into being as far as image goes as anyway. So it's easier to identify to things. But when you identify to a social cause and you go do it and you're being there and you're involved in it, that's a really good way of, I think, but the identity has to want to do that. So you're gonna have very independent identities, you're gonna have very socially conscious identities, and each one will have Neptune coming in here in a different way. It's going into this house, something's not as it seems. And you're looking for the two, you're looking for the good and the bad. You're looking for the dream and the temptation. 
You're looking for the belief and the disbelief. You're looking for the complications. You're trying to find the simplicity and seeing the complications. Wow, they're hanging, they're doing that. There's going to be complications from that. So if you look at the fifth, at the, at the um, ninth house, that's your morals and that. Again, you have right, if you're totally righteous in your morals, you're going to only have people around the church or the temple that you're aligned with and that's what you believe in no matter what. Or you can be the fanatical believer. I'm the preacher of my own home and I'm there. I don't know how it should be. And you're all to blame. This is how you know, lift up to this is the way it should be. You do everything according to that belief. Well, or you don't. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. I can't do that. I can't live. I'll never do that. I'm not going to do it. So, like, how much you believe in yourself? What your principles and your ethics are has a big effect. That's the Neptune in the Cadence, but that's part of your identity. You know, like, you have a party. You're going to have a, a church group party. Well, you invite all the people you know at the church that you want to have a common prayer group. Would you invite the astrologer? Would you invite the accountant? Well, not necessarily. This is about, this is about ethics. and They don't necessarily have the same way. So there's a certain judgmental side to it. But Neptune implies there's a belief and not always, because things are not always as they seem. There can be confusions and distortions and tes temptations and corruptions of that, which then you have to sort out. Um, how do you atone for it? In the fifth house, it's your performance. You're trying to be the dramatic lover. You're trying to, so you're trying to be the incredible creative performer. You're the best kids in the world. And when they're not, you still have to try and reinforce that energy. You're trying to be, have fun. if you have the kids and you want them to be the best in the world, you better be the best at something so that they'll pick up some of this. So how do you make things playful? How do you do it? But you can make things playful by just, turning on, drinking up, let's just party, let's just play. And really those things take away from good performance. So there's a puzzle where these are the identity ones, these are the fire ones. They're gonna be active. You're gonna project your morality. You can project your performance. You're gonna project you. I mean, how many people get drunk and are out in the street projecting what they can do? They can walk in front of a car, I can stop and I can do, you can convince yourself just about anything. So you add alcohol or drugs to any part of Neptune, it's going to magnify that area first. Okay, when you put it into the Earth houses, the houses of concern, we're concerned about our resources, our values, we're concerned about our status, and house, and we're concerned about our skills. Six house, our duties, our, our, our ability to improve things, are the say our skills. So, if Neptune's here, so there's, there's something's not as it seems around money. Like there's going to be confusion around how money is used and temptations around it. Then if Neptune's up in the temptation, there's going to be confusion. What the person's going to work at? I don't want to work here. I don't fit in here. What do I want to do? I don't belong here. I, I believe I should be doing this. Or, and eventually it's supposed to go into some socially conscious work, helping others. But Practicing first, looking at oh, some positive temptation here. I wonder what they're doing. I wonder what kind of resources they, where they get their money from. I wonder what job they got. Somebody I just met a young kid the other day, and he just got a job. That's great. He's getting paid well for it. But the job is working for. A, um, I mean, we're in a place where marijuana is just about to be made, made legal, and he's working for a company that wants him in the store to be selling it. And this is a store, so the store could get arrested because it's still technically illegal for two or three more months. And this is the build up to it, but he's being involved in job. And he's worried he might get arrested for it. At the same time, it's better than no job. There's a Neptune puzzle. Not hard to find these examples when you start imagining it, but you'll see, people will bring them in enough to you. You have your own puzzle with Neptune. So Neptune in the sixth says, what skills do you have? Oh, I took a year to I took a year cooking, but I could have been really great if I only got another year. But I didn't. I went out and I did something else. There's many temptations around how skilled one can be. I had a client once, and she was um, an anesthetician, and something went wrong, and somebody died, and she ended up being blamed because something was wrong with the link of the anesthetic, and it, and so. The whole performance uh, went by and the person died and eventually came back because there was something wrong with the duty. It was a lot of guilt. 
and she really couldn't go back to the same career. She had to start trying to find something else she could do. Hard, like there can be hard hunting, hard things where Neptune is, but they can be very noble, dedicated things too. So the sorrows that came out from her having had that her duty, she did the duty wrong. She wasn't that together. She missed something. She made a mistake. She got totally blamed. Um, I think she had to get, I don't think she had to do time, but I think she had um, several years of social service she had to do or something like that. I don't remember the whole finishing part of it. But out of that, she ended up being dedicated to help, helping people in a simple way without being anything to do with drugs or chemicals. So I think she learned some healing skills and was working with them. But Neptune does dissolve what doesn't belong so that something new comes up. Or it, it challenges what's really right by tempting it to diminish itself. And you either have to hold it with what's right or you diminish it. There's a temptation. There's a confusion where Neptune is. In the practical houses, there's temptations that diminish the practicality. So if you have Neptune there, you have to work really hard to make sure you're self-reliant and consistent. It's not going to be blamed where Neptune is. When it's in the um, air houses, the community houses, third house, personal expression, 11th house, friendships, 7th house, friendships, you think there's going to be unreliable or deceptive relationships, confusion in the idea may not tell exactly the truth. I mean, one may tell a partner, yeah, you look beautiful when they're really busy, but you don't want to say something. Or, you know, you may support a friend and, and say something that's not critical and be supportive when really they should be told they're drinking too much or something. So, um, and sometimes Neptune is certain you have to learn how to be quiet and not talk or how to get the right education. But Neptune is going to confuse the ideas confuse the communication and make it complicated or deceptive. So one will lead to a whole bunch of others. So it's important to really be simple. That's the puzzle of Neptune. But at the same time, Neptune is really imaginative in the third house. It implies a whole lot of connections to all kinds of people in the eleventh house. In the seventh house, it implies often could imply an over dedicated partner or a partner for, out from another culture, another thing where there's uh, a confusion or idealism that's different from the seventh house. It doesn't have to mean a deceptive partner. It can be someone from a, another culture and other things, and then you're in this relationship with the cultural and sides, and both sides aren't necessarily supporting it. So these... And in the houses of rewards... Uh, the water houses, Neptune's going to be most profound in the water houses because it's the ocean, the god of the oceans of possibility, the dreams, the visions, the sorrows, the guilts, the adventures. And in the water houses, they call it the house of rewards because it's where you get what you got coming from. You have the security you deserve. You have the social sense and the shared resources you deserve. You have the consciousness you deserve. You know, like, so, but what makes you conscious? Certain failures, certain things going wrong. So Neptune is going to be temptations to compromise your conscience. And there'll be opportunities to live up, to make a dedication to your conscience, to be dedicated and work towards it, to help a good cause or something. That's there. But usually you're having to get yourself out of bad ones and not reinforce the bad and try to support the good and do you dare. <laughs> 